What enduring qualities do you think make the 1966 TV series that girl an everlasting symbol of the industry? This classic show, created by Sam Dinoff and Bill Persky, left an indelible mark on television history with its refreshing take on a young woman's pursuit of independence in the bustling world of New York City. But what is it about that girl that continues to resonate with audiences even decades later? In this article, we'll explore the show's timeless appeal and share some interesting facts about its production and impact. That Girl, which aired from 1966 to 1971, followed the life of aspiring actress Anne-Marie, played by Marlo Thomas, as she navigated the challenges of young adulthood and career aspirations. What set it apart was its portrayal of a strong, independent, and relatable female lead at a time when such characters were a rarity on television. The enduring qualities of that girl lie in its ability to address universal themes like ambition, self-discovery, and the pursuit of dreams, which continue to be relevant in today's society. Its light-hearted humor and the relatable nature of Anne Mary's character have made it a beloved series that transcends generations. As we delve into the show's history and impact, we invite you to share your most cherished memory or personal experience related to that girl. We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below as they contribute to the ongoing appreciation of this iconic series. Let's now uncover some random facts about the show and its enduring charm, exploring the reasons behind its lasting influence in the world of television. So, join us on this nostalgic journey through the world of That Girl, a show that has truly stood the test of time. Share your thoughts and memories and let's celebrate this TV classic together. That Girl, a popular TV series that aired from 1966 to 1971, was a breakthrough show in its era. Created by Bill Persky and Sam Dinoff, it followed the life of aspiring actress Anne-Marie, portrayed by Marlo Thomas, as she pursued her dreams in New York City. The show broke new ground with its focus on a single, independent woman striving for a career and love in the bustling city, a theme that was revolutionary for its time. Anne's character embodied the spirit of the changing cultural landscape of the 1960s, making her a symbol of women's liberation. The show's unique style included Anne's direct addresses to the audience, breaking the fourth wall, and its upbeat, catchy theme song. That girl had a significant impact on popular culture, influencing future TV shows, and serving as a feminist milestone, inspiring many women to pursue their own dreams. It remains a classic representation of the evolving roles of women in society during the 1960s, and its legacy endures to this day, demonstrating the enduring power of strong, independent female characters on screen. One of the interesting tidbits about the 1966 TV series That Girl is the behind-the-scenes story of how the show got its name. While That Girl became iconic, it wasn't the only option on the table. Miss Independent was a contender, a nickname inspired by Marlo Thomas' independent spirit, given to her by Danny Thomas. In the end, That Girl won out, and it turned out to be a fitting choice for a show that broke new ground in portraying the life of an independent woman pursuing her dreams in the 1960s. It's a small detail, but it sheds light on the creative process behind the series. Stay tuned for more insights into this classic show from 1966. The train in the opening sequence of the 1966 TV series That Girl was filmed at Secaucus Junction in Secaucus, NJ. It appeared to be heading towards Newark, but the footage was reversed, creating the illusion of backward moving traffic on the New Jersey Turnpike. This behind the scenes detail adds a unique perspective to the iconic show's introduction, showcasing the creativity of the production team and crafting memorable moments for viewers. Stay tuned for more insights into the making of that girl from 1966. Marlo Thomas' father, Danny Thomas, had a knack for making cameo appearances on the 1966 TV series That Girl. It wasn't just a one-time thing either. In one particular episode, Danny Thomas wasn't alone in his cameo. He was joined by Marlo's sister, Ter Thomas, and her brother, Tony Thomas. This family affair added a special touch to the show, giving viewers a glimpse of the Thomas family's talents. Stay tuned for more interesting insights into the behind-the-scenes happenings of That Girl from 1966. The series That Girl from 1966 was originally set to return for a sixth season due to high ratings and existing contracts. 
However, disagreements in production led to an unexpected cancellation at the end of season 5. This abrupt ending disappointed many fans who were still enjoying the show's success. Despite its premature conclusion, That Girl remains a classic representation of the changing roles of women in society during the 1960s. The show's impact endures to this day, demonstrating the lasting power of strong, independent female characters on screen. The train in the opening sequence of the series That Girl from 1966 was filmed at Secaucus Junction in Secaucus, NJ. It seemed to be heading towards Newark, but the footage was reversed, creating the illusion of backward moving traffic on the New Jersey Turnpike. This behind the scenes detail adds a unique perspective to the iconic show's introduction, showcasing the creativity of the production team and crafting memorable moments for viewers. Stay tuned for more insights into the making of That Girl from 1966. In the fifth season of the 1966 TV series That Girl, the producers introduced more location shots, including the exterior of Anne's apartment building. This change provided viewers with a better sense of the show's setting and added depth to the storytelling. It was a subtle yet effective way to enhance the overall viewing experience. Stay tuned for more insights into the making of That Girl from 1966. In the 1966 TV series That Girl, the character of Anne had a close relationship with her father, Lou. Interestingly, this bond was loosely based on Marlo Thomas' real-life relationship with her father, Daddy. This connection between fiction and reality added depth to the show's portrayal of a young woman pursuing her dreams in the 1960s. It reflected Marlo Thomas' personal experiences and gave the character of Anne a relatable and authentic quality. Tragically, just seven months after the final episode aired on March 19, 1972, Lou Parker, the actor who portrayed Anne's father, passed away from cancer on October 27, 1972, two days before his 62nd birthday. His contribution to the series and his connection with Marlo Thomas made his passing a poignant moment in the show's history. The final episode of That Girl was originally going to feature Anne and Donald getting married. However, Marlo Thomas refused this storyline, arguing that it sent the message to young girls that a woman's main goal in life was to be married. This decision to prioritize independence and individual aspirations over traditional societal expectations was in line with the show's overall message of female empowerment and self-determination. These behind-the-scenes insights into that girl from 1966 shed light on the personal connections and important decisions that shaped the series. Marlo Thomas' real-life relationship with her father, the loss of Lou Parker, and the show's commitment to breaking traditional stereotypes all contributed to its enduring impact. As we bid adieu to the enchanting world of that girl, let us take a moment to reflect on the timeless charm of this beloved 1966 TV series. It's more than just a show, it's a journey that many of us have embarked upon, a tapestry of memories interwoven with laughter, tears, and the magic of yesteryears. Did you ever find yourself laughing out loud at Anne Mary's misadventures in the bustling city of New York? Or perhaps you felt a kinship with her dreams and aspirations, mirroring your own ambitions and struggles. That girl had a unique way of touching our hearts, making us believe in the beauty of chasing our dreams and navigating the challenges that come our way. Now, it's your turn to share your cherished memories and thoughts about that girl. How did this show influence your life? Did it inspire you to pursue your own dreams, just like Anne-Marie did? Or do you have a favorite episode that never fails to bring a smile to your face? We invite you to share your reflections and stories, for it is through your experiences that the legacy of that girl continues to thrive. Thank you for your time and interest in revisiting this iconic series. Your connection to that girl is a testament to the enduring power of television to touch our hearts and shape our lives. We hope y'all continue to carry the spirit of Anne-Marie and her adventures with you, inspiring your own journey through life.